597 here with a replay I have in my Tash Kent. Uh, I left this little choppy part in so you could see what it looked like. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but most of the replay was very choppy like this, and I didn't want your eyes to bleed too much. But getting the results that I got in this, I wanted to get something out there just to show you that you should never give up no matter what the odds are. Now, I am trying to cap C. I pop my smoke. I know the ship and A is the one spotting these two. I want to deny them B for as long as possible to try to give us a better points lead because all you can see is the only one that they're trying for right now is B. So the longer I can hold them from capping B, the better off we're going to be. I'm going to let HE do most of my work as I did for most of this game to try to burn down these battleships. Now I know AP is going to do a lot more damage to a full broadside, but... You know, you get a battleship with multiple fires, they like to put it out, and fire damage is no joke. Especially if you can stack multiple fires, which is what I'm trying to do. Because I want to get as many fires going on to him, because well, uh, then I can switch my switch to a new target and try to get them burning and then switch back to the guy I'd set on fire to the first time and get his damage control out again and just keep both battleships burning because at this point I feel the only way we're going to win is if I can kill at least one of these two battleships through either torping them or burning them to death. Now I drop torps in hopes that the Colorado will I don't know, drive straight and eat them all and die. But I'm going to keep pumping rounds into them while I can see them. I also dropped the torps to try to flood, flood the area to try to deny him the uh, easy access. And I got one fire on the Colorado, got another fire going on the Arizona. And I'm thinking, well, hopefully this guy's damage control is out. And this guy's gonna burn. Forcing the Arizona to take the long way into sea so I don't have to deal with him uh, capping at any time soon. Colorado does a uh, good job of dodging my torps. And uh, the other thing is, I really very rarely ever turn off my AA in this ship because you are always spotted all the time when you're shooting. Russian DDs are not known for their concealment, they're known for their guns and being spotted all game long. So, as the planes come in, my new focus is going to be on trying to dodge these bombers and tour planes. I'm more worried about the tour planes than the dive bombers because the dive bombers are still a little bit more RNG based, even if you do a manual. It's a little bit RNG whether or not you're going to get the fire or not. Now this guy does a very excellent drop. I had cut my speed, re-engaged my speed, turned into him, and by the grace of God, I managed to miss all of them. He gets a bomb to connect and forces out my damage control. At this point, I know these torps are spotted, but I want to dump them in there to at least try to get the Colorado to turn away. Now, all the Colorado had to do to win the game was to drive on the sea, cap it by staying behind that little island with the uh, runway. My torps never would have hit him. He wouldn't have been in danger. Even if I was shooting at him, uh, resetting the cap, he is denying us points. Easily won the game. I don't even know why the CV dropped torps like that. They aren't even a threat. Easily going to avoid them. At this point, like I said, I believe I, uh, I'm just going, we lost. There's nothing I can do. I don't know where any of these ships are. I'm going to turn around and try to stop the Colorado, who I believe is going on to sea. And I'm wondering, why is this guy not on sea? What the hell is taking him so long to try to catch sea? I mean, I, I would have went in. I had the health pool to at least eat one or two corpse and deny the enemy points 
is, is you know it's a very close game yes I'm a destroyer I'm extremely low health I can out easily outrun him so I don't know why the Colorado never went in came down here to try to kill me and just completely missed his shot and that will be the last salvo this guy puts up now I thought we had lost this game but as you can see in the uh, screenshots afterwards that no somehow we won thanks to the Colorado I got a solo warrior because he did not go in and cap also did over 90,000 damage over 2,000 base experience and I made a good chunk of change I apologize for the poor video quality but I wanted to get something out there because you just don't see solo warriors every day please hit that like and subscribe button Thank you and have a good day.